This is an all-new vehicle for BMW in that it's a smaller, entry-level, rear-wheel drive coupe. It features a twin-turbo inline-six that makes about 300 horsepower. Should be pretty good on the track and on the street. Let's find out. BMW claims the 135i will sprint to 60 miles per hour in 5.1 seconds. Well, they lie. Our 135i consistently rips off 4.7 second runs and buzzes through the quarter mile in 13.3 seconds at 105.6 miles per hour. That is stunningly quick, especially when you consider that our car has a plain Jane automatic. Under braking, the 135i's six piston front brakes and wide sticky tires stop it from 60 miles per hour in an impressive 102 feet. On the skid pad, the 135i more than holds its own, gripping the tarmac to the tune of 0.94 G. Up at Reno Friendly Raceway, the 300 horsepower 135 is like a rocket down the straightaway. We hit speeds in excess of 115 miles per hour before entering the S's, and the whole time, the 135i is stable and well composed. In the corners, the rear drive 135i holds on like grim death, never once indicating that it wants to slide. Impressive for such a powerful little car. Okay, so we're now in the uh, 135i on the streets of Los Angeles, and the first thing you notice upon getting into this car is that overall the car is much softer and much more comfortable. That goes for this, both the suspension and the seats, and even the steering wheel, which is thick and leather wrapped. The transmission is also less harsh. It doesn't shift as firmly as the Evo 10, and there's power everywhere. You know, you don't need a fancy transmission where you can just hit the gas and go with 300 horsepower. Overall, this is the one I'd prefer to drive around the streets of Los Angeles and on the freeways. So the 135i was fast and smooth. Pretty good on the track, great on the streets. But is that enough to beat the Evo? Check back with us in our final video as we crunch the numbers and pick a winner.